looks like there's a few sore bodies out there today. Yeah, uh, yeah there was. It was obviously a, a tough game for both sides and you know a couple of uh, couple of uh, small injuries out of it, but uh, we're, we're pretty confident that most of those guys will come up. Daddy looked a bit sore out there today, no chicken for him? No, no, well, uh, look, he's, he's obviously been assessed and, um, you know, I think it was just a bit of a collision injury for him and, um, look, we'll be really looking forward to him uh, playing next Friday against Melbourne. So there's no doubt he'll be playing this week? At this stage, no, I think um, uh, the medical staff are pretty positive that he'll get up. And what about Warnock? How's he travelling? Uh, still in hospital. Uh, obviously uh, was admitted on Friday after the game and uh, I think he went, went downhill uh, pretty quickly after the game so uh, I sent him off a text yesterday and um, I think he's coming good but he's still in there for some precautionary. Jared Waite is one of a couple that didn't train today, is there any concerns with him? No, I think that's just uh, a bit of management obviously, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's worked very hard so far this year and we just want to make sure that we, uh, we get him right for the, uh, for the game on Friday. The group seemed pretty upbeat this morning. I noticed Eddie Betts was having a joke with you when you were kicking for goal from a similar spot that Robbie Warnock did. <laughs> um, there was a, it was a great performance by the Blues. The Cats were up and about and they were playing some good footy. Um, does the result really change anything or is it, are you still pretty happy? I mean obviously it's a, it's a loss and it's, it's not four points but you know, the intensity that you showed against one of the premier sides in competition must be quite pleasing. Yeah, I think that you, know, you, you like to test yourself against the, the benchmark teams and look, there were some, some areas on the weekend that we, we were pretty pleased with, but at the end of the day, uh, we didn't get the points. Uh, so we're, we're continually striving to, to keep improving and you know, we, we want to be a team that wins those kind of games and um, look, hopefully we can start that on Friday night against Melbourne. Obviously, Robbie Warnock, pretty disappointed but as, as I said before Eddie and a few of the boys seem to be having a joke about it so they didn't take it too harshly. Uh, look what's what's done's done it was obviously disappointing for him to, to miss that and you know, I'm not even really sure how much of it he remembers it might be uh, might not be that bad a thing for him but uh, yeah look at uh, it would love to have that again and uh, but I think that uh, you know there were other points in the game uh, you know that we didn't do that well either that um, could have changed the result as well. You said you would have loved to have had that moment again there's some suggestions in the media the next day that maybe you should have stayed down is that something that you guys looked at I mean he, he yeah. did take a pretty hefty knock spent the night in hospital. Uh, that's you know that's look it, it's easy to look at it after the yeah. after the events and and say that but at the time uh, he jumped up and he and he looked he looked okay from the coach's box, uh, so that's it's very difficult to say there in that situation. Moment, so there was a moment in the game where Nick Dygan maybe said something to the umpire. Have you had a chat about that? Is the game up and gone? Uh, look, we, uh, we, we, we mentioned it very briefly, but uh, look, I'm not even sure. I haven't spoken to Nick. Uh, I don't know what he actually did say, but uh, I guess at the end of the day, uh, you know, the um, umpires uh, take uh, back chat pretty seriously and um, I guess you just can't do it. Matty Cruiser had a good game yesterday in the VFL, played a half. Yeah, it was really pleasing to see him back after uh, I think 11 months out. Uh, yeah, he played a half, got through, kicked two goals, and um, you know I think it was uh, just good to see him out there having a bit of a run around and, and really get some confidence back in his body. How many games do you think you'll have to spend in the VFL before he comes back in? Look, it's it's difficult to really say. You know, ideally, you know, you'd like to say maybe uh, you know three, four games, but um, we'll just see how he comes back and, and how confident he feels in, um, in his body and, uh, and we'll pretty much just take it from there. Judd's injury before half time, he looks almost gone coming off the bench. Um, he looks really distressed and disappointed. For him to come on, he didn't have as many possessions as we used to, but to kick that goal on the run on the left, he just seems to have this constant ability to will sides on and he was close to doing that again on Friday night. Yeah, exactly. You know, look, I, I think, you know, he's, he's a champion player and I guess that that's how you rate champion players, their ability to be able to come good in uh, important situations and uh, look, he was he was obviously hampered, you know, we we, we threw him forward um, and, he, and he had an impact, which was really positive. Ed Kerno's doing a lot of running work. He looks pretty good considering... Yeah, he was supposed to be out for a little while, isn't he? So how far away is his return now? Uh, yeah, look, it's uh, obviously AC joint. Uh, I think it was initially, uh, you know, maybe uh, four to five weeks. Uh, obviously, with a shoulder, you can still get around and run around once it becomes a bit more uh, comfortable. Um, and yeah, he's been uh, he's starting to get annoying with uh, running around, trying to get the ball in his hands. So I'm sure that he'll give himself the best opportunity to get back, uh, you know, as soon as he can. Brock McLean, he's had a troubled start at the Blues since he's coming. 
coming from Melbourne. Um, he seemed to fit in quite nicely on Friday night. He had six or seven contested possessions uh, of his first ten. How did you rate his performance? Yeah, look, he, his his uh, impact uh, inside the you know in the scrums was was pretty good, and uh, obviously it's been. Uh, a long time uh, between drinks for him in terms of him playing at the highest level at AFL and uh, we were pleased with his performance um, and hopefully you know, going forward he can keep improving on that. Yep.